My goodness, what a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Like, there's clouds over there, but like there's nothing else. Goodness. And it is like 65 degrees out, and it's February 12th, the day of the big game, the 57th big game. Can't say the actual thing, because, you know, copyright, I think, because people can't say that on youtube anyway <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying uh welcome back to the channel guys my name is cody aka cody the belly boy on instagram um and i'm doing a bit of a comparison video here i love doing this little loop thing and it looks really good because i'm filming right now at with my wide angle lens on my iphone um at 30 fr frames per second in 4k um so hopefully it looks good for you guys. I don't know if uh, YouTube is going to like crunch my uh, quality or something like that. But I'm comparing today the Squiddy B Time Mod from Squid Industries um, and the Canto Group Angler. Two knives that, sorry, knives, uh, ballast songs, because they're not knives. Two ballast songs that share very similar uh, details. And you can look, if you were to like, blur your eyes or if i were to blur this you probably wouldn't be able to tell which was which i mean aside from the fact that you know this one's on the right this one's on the left um but i'm gonna go ahead and start with the squiddy b time out here whoa um a lot of flippers have a squiddy of some kind in their collection this is why my squiddy b will likely never leave my collection because if i do end up going on a trip and i like to bring stuff with me to flip to the airport i can bring this because these are tsa safe i've gotten this through every single time i've tried to go through customs um oh no goodness that was so loud probably should not be flipping over a glass table but say la vie so um the material for this is like a black pvc or i think it's a uh, acetal if i'm like acetal plastic i don't know how to properly pronounce it um, so it does lend some good weight and then you have the weight in both the, uh, handles and the blade, which give this a very nice balance. Um, and it's got a silencer mod, which are the O-rings to keep it from sounding super clacky. Whoa. Um, so yeah, so there's that. And I'm going to, I have a scale here so I can weigh them. But this on the other hand, this is the Canto Group Angler. And this is a very, very light, like half as light, I think. Um, Because it ha it feels like I'm flipping nothing. That's how light it is. Even with the weights, both in the handles and the blades, or in the blade, uh, with all that extra weight toward the tip, it still feels super, super light. So the... Uh, Angler is made by Canto Group by a guy named Luke, um, who runs Canto Group. You guys have probably seen Canto, uh, the Canto Nice Oil, um, Canto Group Thick, um, which does wonders for knives. And he just actually came out recently with a original design that he made. It is an aluminum trainer. Um, it's called the Origin, and it does actually bear some similarities to this, like with the um, the overall dimensions and stuff like that. Um, and if you guys want to go leave him a follow, tell him I sent you. Um, I will be linking his uh, Instagram in the description below. Um, so starting out, this is not normal plastic. This is nylon. Um, so look at that. That is some good detail right there. Um, so this is 3D printed nylon. And you can kind of see like the layering, kind of. But I when I tell you that this print quality is some of the best i've ever seen um believe it because i've seen some good 3d printed knives and some not so good 3d printed knives and this one is probably one of the best ones that i flipped um i do still need to try out zippy's bell songs um like the zipper the cycloid oh what's what's the other ones i'm not entirely sure but this has weights in the end. I believe these are T15, um, if I'm not mistaken. Like, the weights are T15. The Zen pin screws are T8 or T7. 
and then T10. Um, and what's funny is the pivots and uh, the pivots actually fit in a replicant, like like your standard like Squid Industries, uh, like standard um, like T10 hardware for most battle songs. It's like BRS, Jerry Hom, I believe uses kind of the same. Um, and also, uh, whoa, BRS. Um, tolerances. Obviously, they're going to be garbage because they're a, it's a plastic trainer. Um, and one thing to note is that you can see there's a lot of extra stuff there in the tip. So you have like this plastic sleeve, like this bushing almost that goes around the pivot and then you have um the uh <gasps> my puppies are outside you'll get to say hi to them later um then you have these o-rings to keep the sound down so this is a good nighttime flipper except when you're dropping it on a literal glass table my goodness so let's go ahead and get some weights oh yeah i forgot to mention this runs on bushings this runs on replicant style bushings, which means that when you, if you were to buy one of these, um, like secondhand, the bushings on the inside are oversized replicant bushings. I was able to, um, uh, tune my old replicant with the bushings that came in this and I was able to replace them and I was able still to get full crank on these screws and you know, um, I was able to get full crank on this without it binding. That's how oversized the bushings are, and that's how thin the blade is. All right, I'm going to stop doing that now. So I've got my digital scale here. I'm going to do some weights. I'm going to weigh this one first. 1.7 ounces. 1.7 ounces. Okay, so that is a uh, light boy. Now I'm going to go over to this one. Where are you? I don't see you. I mean, the sun's directly in my face. Oh yeah, 2.4. So, like double, almost. Cause double of 1.7 would be 3.1, no. Never mind. am I dumb? What is math? What, what even is math? 2.5, 2.4 times 2 is 4.8. Divide that by 2 is 1.2. So not quite double. I don't know why I'm literally dumb. Um, so which to buy? Um, well, if you're looking for availability... My goodness, my camera. There we go. I was not focusing. If you're looking for strictly available... Uh, stuff, then buy the Squiddy B because the standard Squiddy B, the Time Odd Squiddy Bs, the Squiddy U, the standard Squiddy, the Squiddy PDP. I don't even know if they still have that in stock at Squid. Um, this is almost always available, and if the standard ones aren't available, then you can go to the Calamari clearance, um, and I'll leave links to both uh, in the description below. Um, both squids website and uh like the calamari clearance that they have going on um where it, that basically they sell uh blemished units of all the knives that they sell basically except uh like except a tsunami goodness gracious I'm gonna turn this off and move that away now um so yeah i'll leave a, uh, a link to this in the description below if you want to pick one of these up for yourself. Um, whoa. It's always a fun flipper, especially when you're so used to flipping um, like heavier knives because this just feels so light and you can do like a lot more like flowy type, um, like flowy type tricks. And also like recording outside in the sun makes everything look a lot like smoother. Makes everything look a lot faster, but... Um, what else? I have not, like, made videos, like, in-depth in a long time. So I apologize if my brain is, like, being dumb. 
because I've lost my train of thought so many times. Um, so which one do I like better? I like them both equally. Um, they're both, they both have their pros and their cons in that respect. Um, this one, I don't know if they would let you bring this through customs. Because even though it's plastic, it still has a tip on it. That's my only thing. I'm not sure. And if if you guys do own one of these, and if you have taken it to the airport, let me know. Because I'd love to know. Um, so, yeah. Both are really good. Really fun flippers. I just cannot do, like, choker fans or anything. Oh, one thing. This has a bite handle and a safe handle. Okay? Like like a standard balisong would. Um, this, on the other hand, is an ambidextrous flipper. So you can do stuff like this. Like I'm switching from the technically bite and blade hand, uh, the bite and safe handles. Oh no. Um, because it is a symmetrical bow song. So, and basically... Squid Industries, if I'm remembering correctly, they made the Squiddy and all the other Squiddy variants to be just a flipper. Not a knife, but something that you can flip as a uh, to learn a skill or to just like fidget, that sort of thing. Because I could do this and then go to the opposite blade or the, the opposite side of the blade, the blade, because it's not an actual blade, but you understand what I'm saying. I can do a chaplain on this side. Shoot. I can do a chaplain on this side. And a chaplain on the other side as well. Um, and I won't care because I would learn combos on this and then try to do those same exact combos on the uh, some of my other like live blade knives. And I'd cut myself because I'm like, what is going on? Well, duh, because I'm grabbing both other, uh, both of the handles. So, um, yeah. Do you guys want to meet my dogs? I'm basically done talking about this. Milo, Tess, that's Milo. Milo, come here, boy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Hi. Hi, buddy. Oh yes. Can you boop your snoot? No. Tess, come here. Come here. Say hello. Boop. So that's Tess, that's Milo, those are my two dogs. And then my other dog's inside, he's not doing so hot right now. He's, uh, he's kind of sick. But, yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, um, please do leave a like. Uh, comment, um, comment how many times I dropped the, these, uh, these bell songs on my freaking table. Oh my gosh. Um... Oh, also, giveaway details. I'm giving away a Balasong. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Um, I'm giving away a Balasong uh, when I hit 1,500 followers on my Instagram. So my Instagram is also linked down in the description below. Um, so please do go follow because I cannot wait to share with you guys what I have planned. It's the biggest giveaway I've ever done. Um, so, yeah. Um, go follow uh, Canto Group. Go follow Squid Industries. Again, links are in the description for Instagram and where you can buy a Squiddy B or other uh, Squid Industries uh, knives as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I guess that's it. Fun knives. Battle songs, because they're not knives. But you understand. See ya.